Hey guys, Brian here, and have I got a surprise for you. Right here behind me is a 2022 Kenworth T680 Next Gen, and we're gonna show it to you next. Hey guys, like I said, I've got behind me the brand new 2022 T680 Kenworth Next Gen, and man, she is pretty. I'm liking her a lot. You know what? She just might be in our fleet soon enough. Ronan has pulled some strings because you guys have been asking. We did the, the Freightliner, we've done the Volvo. Um, we got a lot of comments from you asking me, or when are you gonna do a 680? Well, here it is, we got one. Ronan pulled the strings, he made it happen. We've got one here. I'm gonna quickly just give you the specs on this truck, okay? This one be behind me, it's got the PACR engine, the MX-13, it's a 13 liter. This one is spec'd out at 505 horse. It's a 12 speed automated transmission with overdrive. It has a 336 rear end. That means the gear ratio on the rear end is 336. A little later, we're gonna take it for a test drive and I'm gonna give you where the RPMs are at what speeds and what this thing is gonna do for fuel mileage, so stand by for that. And with no further ado, let's go check out the outside. Come on. So a 2022 T680. This particular one, believe it or not, is uh, it's got the VIT package. So this thing is loaded. It's got everything. It doesn't have a kitchen sink, but other than that, brother, we've got just about everything in this thing. And again, I'm not selling this truck. I have no skin in this game. This is just a Kenworth truck that I've been asked to do a preview on. So that's what we're doing here. So from front to back, let's start at the corner. Headlights, LED headlights, and they are heated. Okay, so the beautiful thing is in the winter time, we're not worrying about going through Pennsylvania or going through uh, Wisconsin or up in Northern Ontario and the lights freezing up and you've got ice buildup. These come, they are heated lenses. They are really cool. Um, now, unfortunately, I haven't been able to drive this truck at night, so I can't tell you how well they work, but based on being on the road with other trucks that are, that are out there driving, the headlights on these things are pretty good. So let's say that's a really good bonus package, heated headlights, and from what I understand, that's a standard feature. You don't, that's not an option. The first thing I'm gonna pick off, though, about this truck that I've noticed as opposed to say last year's T680, uh, the 2020s and the 2021s, is if you look at this, they've gone back to the old style T600 fenders, right? There's no slope here that doesn't kind of, they went back to the flat and it, believe it or not, it's more aerodynamic. They found that it's more aerodynamic. And if you look real carefully, there's a lip here. It's flat here going down and there's a lip right here and that's for aerodynamics. They really pulled one out of their ass when they did this. It's really good. And I like the way it looks. It's got an older style look like the old T600 on a 2022. It's, it's a good feature. I like it. I like what they did. We've got the Michelins. They come standard with the Michelins. These are 11R 225s. These are the Michelins X lines. Um, as far as I'm concerned, if you've got the money to spend, that's the best, that's the best tire on the market for your steers and for your drives, but for this one comes with it uh, standard. I like the Michelins. If I was buying this truck and if I'm gonna drop the 200 grand that they're asking for it, then I'm gonna want the Michelins on it for that kind of coin. As we move farther down, a uh, nice touch. It's chrome, it's bling. I myself personally, I don't need to have it, but it comes on the truck and it looks good. And here's a really cool feature, okay? There's no upper bracket. This truck, both brackets are, are here and they are solid. Believe it, I can hang, I'm a 220 plus pound guy and I can hang off this mirror. I'm not going to, forget it. Alana thinks is laughing because she thought I was gonna do it. I'm not doing, I'm not hanging off here. Just like I'm not climbing up those stairs in the Freightliner, but you can. I'm, I'm heaving on this. Well, I'm rocking the truck just by the mirror bracket. These are solid. And I like the fact that there's no upper bracket. Okay, so when I'm looking, I don't have to look around a top bracket. I'm only looking in the mirror. These don't get in the way when I'm looking at stuff, and that's really cool. The Freightliner has that tool. Yeah, that tool. Yeah, Freightliner is a tool. Anyway, um, Freightliner has that too. It's a cool feature, and I like it. 
the mirrors obviously are a standard thing. They're heated. Um, they're maneuver, everything's, there's a switch in here and you can turn your mirror heat on. You can maneuver them any which way you want to go to see. And it's, it's a nice feature to have, but it's, it's pretty standard with just about every truck. One thing I like, another thing I like about the truck is, see where the antenna is? I, I, I like it and I don't like it, okay? I like it for the fact that it's away from the cab. Freightliners and some of the older, older Kennys and Pete's, they've got the antennas mounted up on the side up there and they really don't give you a good reception or, or, or they, they cut down on how well your CB is going to work. Now, a lot of guys these days don't even run a CB or don't even use me. Hey man, I still jab away. So if you're going down the road and you see me, grab me on the CB, I will answer you because I do still use it. It's nice, but it is in a, in, in a, in a spot that when I'm looking through this mirror, I'm now looking at a CB antenna. Now, is it a big antenna? Is it gonna be a big problem? Hell no, but is it a bit of a distraction? Yeah, a little bit. I myself personally, I would have probably put them out a little farther, maybe a little closer to the mirror out here, but for what it is, I don't know what it is, like a bee's following me everywhere today. It's, it's just there, nothing you can do about it, but uh, whatever. Right here, Freightliner has it. I think Volvos don't have it, it's not an option. It's an air dam. It's, uh, it's like an airfoil. Believe it or not, and when we do the test drive on this next, this works. It really cuts down on your air, on the sound. And believe it or not, once you've got this thing on the highway and up to speed, you can drive with your window pretty much all the way down and it will really knock the sound of the wind down. You do not hear it. You, of course, you're gonna hear wind when you've got your window down, but it will knock it down significantly. Uh, we're gonna give that a try when, when, uh, when we take this for a drive. We're gonna rip this up the highway and we're gonna roll all the windows down and we're gonna see you know, what this thing does for sound and how loud it is. So we're gonna move down here a little bit. Right here is, is your stairs. Now, I made a, a comment when I, uh, when I did the Freightliner about how I really liked the side package, the skirt package. Now, this is the first time I've been able to actually go over one of these and get this close to it, and I am loving this, okay? This is really, really good. Kenworth did a really good job with this. They started with the aero package here when they thinned this out or, or fattened this up and they made, made it aerodynamic. But when they got to here, they really did a good job. These stairs, are solid, okay? Now, I am gonna jump up and down on these. I, if I was on my Volvo, or even on the Freightliner, this whole package, this whole fairing, everything would be moving. It would be stressing under the weight that I just put on it. 220 plus pound guy just bounced up and down on this thing, and these did not move. They are absolutely solid, and I like that. That means that I'm not gonna hear when I'm going down the highway that these things are rattling away, shaking, banging, and clanging. That's not gonna happen. And I'm anticipating that when I get this on the highway and I'm gonna find some bumps, because we're in Concord and Vaughn and we're gonna find some bumps, and we're gonna run this thing over some bumps to see what kind of shaking and rattling inside and outside this thing does. So the stairs are a good feature. I like the fact that it's designed and built so that when you open the door, look at the way the stairs are. Everything is on a contour and it was designed that way. And Kenworth didn't tell me to say that. I picked that off myself. Because if you look at it, everything is designed to get in the truck. It's on an angle. I'm walking into the truck on an angle, getting into the truck. And it was designed that way. It was built for easy access in, easy access out. It doesn't get any easier than that. It's a really cool feature. Good job on that. Um, the next thing uh, right here. Actually, there's two things right here. One is this light. This light on last year's model, I believe, was up here, and it's a signal light. This year's model, the next gen, they've got it down here, and it's much bigger. As you can see, it's significantly bigger. And that thing lights up. It really does. It lights up really well when you turn your signal on. Anybody within a quarter of a mile of you that's on your driver's side knows you're making a, a left-hand turn when that comes on. Good job. And right beside that, here is the latch. That is the latch to open the hood. Now, believe it or not, watch this. I, I, I'm gonna use one finger. One finger, she opens. Ooh. 
closed. No Mickey Mousing. If you drive a Cascadia, you know the headache there is, you know, with those, those latches up inside here behind the, uh, behind the hood. It's a pain in the butt to get them on. It's a pain in the butt to get them off. This here, there's one on either side. Easy up, open your hood, do your pre-trip, do what you gotta do. Close your hood, put it down, simple. Love it, love it. I don't wanna work any harder than I absolutely have to. And these are little things. These are things that are, are, are most people don't think about, but it's a simple little thing that Kenworth just made easy. And I love it, I'm happy with that. Let's say this right now, the only thing I don't like about this truck is it's white. Damn, is it bright. It's just way too white. You know, myself personally, I would have gone with like a gun barrel gray or like a smoke gray or like a Ronin's blue or like an ET blue, but white is just a, it's, thank God this thing is washed because it's clean and it looks good. But if by the time we bring it back, I guarantee you, even on a beautiful sunny day, it's gonna be dirty and that's because it's white and you're gonna see everything. So let's go right here. Look at this, baby. One of my biggest pet peeves with the Freightliner and with the Volvo. With the Freightliner, you have to rip this open, this panel here open, to get at your deck. With the Volvo, there's a little chintzy cheese little panel or a little uh, cover you gotta pop up to get to your deck. Kenworth took it all away. There's your fuel cap for your diesel. There's your deck. That means that you're not having to rip your deck when you go to fill up your deck. Your, uh, the fuel tank on my Freightliner is back there, right? The, the opening is back there. So I have to park the truck in the fuel island so that the fuel, the, the fuel line will reach, or, or the pump will reach the, the, the fuel cap and get into my, my fuel tank. But the def caps are always up here, and it's the same on this. That means you have to go all the way back there, grab your def nozzle, and stretch the damn thing out for eight feet and stand there like this and hold it because it wants to retract, and you got to fill your def. With this, you don't have to do that. You can park your truck right, you can park for your fuel. You can park it right there and the def, usually your fuel tank or your fuel uh, for diesel fuel pump is right here and your def is right beside it. Well, your fuel tank for your def is right here, or your uh, fuel is right here and your fuel tank for your def is right here, side by side. How handy is that? Good thinking, good job on Kenworth for that. Uh, let's keep on going. This is a feature I really like. Um, my Kenworth had it. Um, a lot of other Kenworths have it. Um, I know that Volvo doesn't have it, and I'm pretty sure Freightliner doesn't have it, although they might. I'm not 100% sure. This window, believe it or not, opens and closes from the inside, so I can open and close the window. But as a beautiful safety feature, there's a latch on the inside of this. This is actually a door, and it's big enough that I can get in and out of it. I can open this up, and it's a full-size door. And uh, how many times are you sitting around the truck stop, the guy's doing his reset, it's a beautiful day, doesn't want to run his truck. He throws the windows open on both sides of the truck and he throws open one of these doors. You got a nice breeze blowing through the truck, it's nice. But it's a, a great safety feature that if in the event anything happens and I can't get out through these doors, I can pop this door and there's one on the other side as well. I can pop that door, I can get out on either side of the bunk. And I don't mean like I have to like shimmy and shake and grease my ass to get it out there. I can, I can get out this door without any problems. It's really, it's a really cool feature. Kenworth's been doing it for years. It was on my 97 uh, W9. I had the same option. Mind you, on the W9, I only had one. This one's got both sides, um, but it's, it's really nice. And I love it. I think it's a good idea. Um, again, the skirt package coming down. She ends right here. I'm going to show you. Make sure there's no Kenworth guys around. Like no, we're in this. We're in the Kenworth uh, Kenworth dealership right now. Um, I'm gonna grab this thing and yank on it for all she's worth, and hopefully it doesn't fall off and I don't land on my. Ass. But I do want to show you something because I want to know for myself, not just for you. So we're gonna yank the crap out of it. <sighs> no, she didn't move. She's solid. Okay, that's. Oh, I see what that is. That's that's part of the that's the end piece to the to the to the step fairing, but it's not going anywhere either. Okay, so I'm happy with that. These fairings are attached well. How you get them off? I don't know. I'm not about to try. So let's go to let's go to there. We've got the boot box. There's a boot box on both sides, but I really like this because this one goes all the way through. 
straight through. I don't have anything blocking my access. In the freight liner, I have a wall that stops there and I can't go any farther. Uh, with this one here, it goes straight through, all the way through, I've got access all the way through. And if I lift the bed, I've also got access from under the bed. I can I lift the bed in there and I've got access to all of this from inside the truck. So I don't have to get out of the truck if I need something while I'm in the truck. Good feature to have, I like that. Um, and this is, this is something, you listen to this. Let's do that again, that's awesome. Solid. Look at this. One thing that Kenworth has always been famous for is their trucks are usually, and I'm gonna say usually, because you know, you, if you get one that was built on Friday or built on Monday, you might not get one that's great, but usually they're airtight. Kenworths are airtight. When you've got the doors closed, the windows up, and everything closed on these things, they are airtight. They, they are not known for having drafts. And this is why, look at this. The, the beads and the seals, and this is heavy duty. It's foam, but it's not just standard foam. I couldn't just take this and pinch and try, like I'm trying to pinch and pull it off. It's not coming out like this. It's a heavy duty foam. And when you close the door, beautiful. It's a nice sound and it's a good quality. It's, it's the difference between a $190,000 truck and say a $170,000 truck. All these little teeny things that I'm picking off is where those prices are. That's why you're paying a little extra. It's a premium truck. You're gonna pay a few extra dollars for it. And that's why it's these little things that are built in. Now here is a little thing that is built in that I, I've never seen before and we discovered it. So let's just say you've got your trailer on and your trailer comes to here, right where my hand is. Your trailer comes to here. Well, that's a pain in the ass to get in here to do my fuel, to, to hook up my lines, my, my airlines, my electrical and all that. So what did Kenworth do? That there alone is probably, in my opinion, is probably worth the price of the truck. They give you a door and it's a solid door and I'll show you in a second, but now I can walk in and walk out. I've got a solid pathway, trailers right here, hook up my lines, do my stuff, do whatever I'm doing, take a look, blah, 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 come on out, close it up. Look at this. I know the, uh, I showed you this and the, a bunch of you is the first thing you did went, yeah, but that's gonna rattle and that's gonna make noise and no it ain't. This thing is solid. One, two, three latches on this thing, okay? Absolutely solid and it's, Easy release, pull a pin, she opens up, close it, one latch, two latch, three latches, simple as that. But look, we're not rattling, we're not moving. It's a real nice feature. It also adds a little bit of extension onto your arrow, uh, onto the arrow package, and it's, it's for your aerodynamics. So now if your trailer comes to here, you've got what? A 10, 12 foot gap between this fairing and the front of your trailer you got no air in between your trailer and your truck, or it's cutting down significantly on the air, on the air between your tra uh, trailer and your truck. Fantastic. Let's keep the air out of there. That slows you down. Um, standard fender, you can get this on any truck. Any truck in the world, it'll, you can pick up that fender, so we're not gonna talk about that. Again, Michelin, X lines, top of the line, in my opinion. Um, those are the Energy Ds. They're good tires. Um, I've got them on the Freightliner, and I'm very happy with them. Um, had them on the Kenworth, very happy with them. My Volvo, when I had it, they, they came with them, had them. Um, I've, I'm, I've always been happy with the Michelin tire. The problem I've always had is when these wear out, when you gotta put eight of these on a, on a, on a, on a truck, it's pricey, boys and girls. The Michelins are not cheap. So unless you know somebody or got a friend, a brother, an uncle that, that sells truck tires and can get you a hell of a deal, you're probably gonna pay a premium price I haven't had to buy Michelins in, in a while, but I think the last time out, I was somewhere around 550 to 600 bucks for one of these. Um, so they're not cheap, but they are, in my, again, in my opinion, the best the money can buy. Not a bad tire. From what I understand, you can request what you want for a fifth wheel. Our model here has got the Holland. Again, and this is just my opinion, I like the Holland. I think it is the best fifth wheel for what we do, only because it can be adjusted 
simply. It's a, it's a front one nut at the front of the fifth wheel here. And if, if by chance over time your, your fifth wheel starts to wear and you need to adjust it, you bring it into the shop, it's a, it's a five minute fix. The guy puts the piece in, closes, gets the jaws locked up, gets everything locked up, and then he can adjust your play by the front, by that front nut up there. It's, it's user friendly, and in my opinion, I like that. I am all for user friendly. Um, our model here comes with uh, a four bag suspension. This one comes with the Firestone uh, airbags on it. Um, I, those are standard with Kenworth. Kenworth has a deal with Firestone. That's the, you know, they're in partnership with that. Um, this doesn't have an eight bag suspension. It's got the four. Uh, one, two, three, four. Also, with, they've got the shock absorber assist. Really nice feature. This truck, and this is new to me. I've never driven one. This one has disc brakes. No drums, no, uh, no brake pads uh, in that sense. Um, this one comes with disc brakes, and uh, I'm gonna play around with that when we're driving to see if I can tell the difference, and if there is a difference, uh, uh, and if I can try to pick that off. I've never had disc brakes on a truck, so this is gonna be new to me to take this for a drive. That's a, that's a, big, that's a big back on that, eh? That's a lot of real estate. I actually really like that. So everything on this truck, is, or on this side, is pretty much the same as the other side. This one has no stacks, and it's got a grass burner on it. It feeds out down below. If, now, me personally, if I was, I would probably have, would have extended that out at about another four or five inches just to get a little farther away from the fuel tank. But that's just me. But where it's at right there is not gonna be a problem. This is something that I am unfamiliar with on a truck. Now, I have this, or my wife has this on her car. I don't have it on, on, on my car, and I've never had it on a truck. This is Bendix. This is the Bendix Road Assist, okay? Basically, this is a radar. When the truck is in motion, it's sending out a, like a beeping pattern, almost like, like, like radar. Now, if a vehicle was to come up here, okay, and it breaks the beam, I guess the beam goes out like this on an angle. When it breaks that beam, there's a little monitor up in the side here on the passenger side with lights on it, and it, it will light up. Now, a lot of, uh, like, like I said, my wife's car has it, it just lets you know that there's a vehicle in your blind spot, that there is something there. This one also has the adaptive cruise control. And part of that on this package is if you've got your cruise control on and you waver out of your lane, the truck is going to let you know. It'll let you know that you are out of your lane or if you're crossing a line. Again, like my, I don't have it, my wife's car has it. If she's cruising along and not paying attention, she cruises out. The car, actually, the, she's got a Honda Civic it'll actually correct her and bring her back into the lane. Now, I don't know if this truck does that. We're gonna let go of the steering wheel on the highway and find out, and we'll let you know how that goes. Again, like I said, this is new to me. Um, I've never had anything like this on a truck. We'll let you know how this goes once we've done the test drive. Other than that, everything else on this, on, on this side, the passenger side of this truck, is uh, absolutely the same as the other side. So there you go. There's a quick walk around to the outside. A couple things I liked, a couple things I didn't like. Uh, on the next video, we're going to take you inside and we're going to check that out. Make sure you subscribe.